all the cousins. If you fancy some lemonade, I'll tell you whether it works or not. Which is quite tricky because most of the strawberries have gone. Oh, one of the best buys my sister has bought. They did it all themselves. I feel really, really lucky that I. And he thinks it's going to do wonders for him. Oh my gosh! Like, really good. But the kids were like, oh. Like, wow. I've been lusting after the ship for quite a while. We're off on an adventure today. I will tell you all about that next week. I'm not quite sure how this has happened. Good morning and welcome to another week. I was just thinking, that is that a horse or a unicorn out there? We weren't quite sure white one lying down welcome to another week uh we are still down south i'm chilling out at my sister's house with all the cousins so there are millions of children here so it's a bit chaotic but come and follow along for the week and see what we get up to for i was going to say half term for the summer holidays the very long summer holidays for now though we're just having breakfast looking out at this view Good morning, welcome to the lemonade stand. Is that what we're calling it? What's it called? It's the lemonade stand. The lemonade stand. They're selling lemonade for charity. So that is what's going on here today. If you fancy some lemonade, do pop down. Hello again, I am out for a beautiful morning walk. I've escaped on my own and left them all with my parents selling lemonade. It's such a nice day compared to yesterday. I just The weather has just been so rubbish since we've been back and finally we've got a nice morning. We're gonna go strawberry picking later on. So I will take you with me for that. Yesterday, I literally plowed on with admin, managed to get two blog posts written and felt like I achieved a bit or a lot, I'm not sure. And today I'll probably get nothing done. But anyway, I'm doing this, getting myself out this morning for an early morning, beautiful walk um, and enjoying these beautiful blue skies. I'm just watching Rafty, he's playing with Flora. Flora's like two and he's so good with her. We're on this trampoline and he's, she's throwing balls and he's hitting it with a tennis racket. It's so sweet. They actually play really nicely together. Right, so um, I have ordered this. I don't know if you've heard of this brand. This is not an ad. I'm actually going to try this out there and tell you whether it works or not. I wouldn't say it's the cheapest thing, but I have stopped getting my lashes done and my brows done over the summer just because trying to work out who can look after three children while I go and do this is impossible. So I've given up on doing that and I've got myself these products, which I'm going to try out. So before I forget, I have got a code that is FB capitals 15 and it gives you 15% off um, if you want to try these, but you might want to wait until I have tried it out to know whether it's worth spending the money. So first up, we've got this eyelash serum here which you paint on your eyes. And then I also got the eyebrow serum. So this was all in a package, like a bundle, but they did. And then I just got this extra to sort my brows out too. I'm really intrigued to know whether it actually does work or whether it is a load of rubbish. Um, so I promise I will give an honest opinion on that. So I'm gonna try this lash serum and then I'm gonna try and do it every day. It says recommends every day. Might try and do it every day and every night. Let's just see what happens. Then I want to do this volume boost mascara, which I read the reviews and they were very good. This is the eyelash colours. 
which I haven't had any of these for years. And to be honest, I thought the latest thing was don't use eyelash curlers, they break your lashes. But anyway, and then this is a separator for clump free defined lashes. So I don't know, I've never used one of those, no idea whether it works, but it just came all together. So I've got that, and then I've got this, which is the eyebrow serum. So I will keep you updated. I think you genuinely need like at least six weeks to notice. Well, I'm hoping I'll notice before that, but a proper like um noticeable appearance you want you need to leave it that long uh, so once i know that it's going to be okay i'll come back on and show you but i will show you my lashes now so you can see them and what they look like i'm trying to paint it onto one eyebrow so i've just done this one it's like a clear gel but i thought it'd be like in a mascara wand i'm worried that i'm just going to tip all this out so i'm going to be really careful when i put it on um, it's just like a little gel so i've just put that on now i'm gonna let that dry and then i'll do the eye one too but as you can see i have got no lashes without my fake ones on they look so tiny and then my eyebrows are really not great so let's see what this does for me shall we so it says apply it at night time so i think i should just do that once at night time and then it says allow up to eight weeks no sorry gosh i can't read today 12 weeks for to see results oh i've got a ladybird in my hair oh 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 fly away ladybird fly away oh um i thought i'd better come on here and oh i'm just hearing how much money they've made on the lemonade stand they're, they're doing it for cancer research 16 pounds 13. i um sitting outside so i just wanted to record that to to remember this time when i was actually sitting outside i'm just having some breakfast stroke lunch put on the mascara can't really see it in this light but it's actually quite nice it's quite a wet mascara i'd say um and then little divider thing was actually quite good i've never seen anything like that before um we're just getting ready because we are going strawberry picking I haven't been this year so far it's something we all like to do Except I've just been on this website and it basically says no eating as you're going round. And I was like, obviously you're not meant to, I get that. And it says they will escort you off the premises if you are caught. I was like, wow. So, I'm going to have to remember to not put them in my mouth, which is going to be quite tricky because that's what I do. As soon as I have food, I just eat it. Slight problem, most of the strawberries have gone. Da -da -da -da. Mm -mm. Luckily for us, there are raspberries. Oh, eat the strawberry. We found, oh, there's some, lots of them, yes. Oh, wow, good spot. You found some strawberries? Yeah. Are they ripe? They just don't look ready, do they? They're not ready for us. We are now looking for cool shirts, not having a great deal of luck. And then the sweet corn is behind me over there. The plums, they're just not ripe. So basically we've just got millions of raspberries. And the thing is that what we do is when we do picking like this, then you forget that you've got so many, put them in the fridge and then like maybe tomorrow or the next day they're all off because they're completely fresh and organic so we're gonna have to make something with all these i think look at that oh She thinks I'm doing a photo. Cheese. Oh, gosh. This trampoline has been one of the best buys my sister has bought this summer. I haven't even got the paddling pool out. However, come on, look, it is a nice day, isn't it? Pretty nice. 
So I think it's something like eight o'clock in the morning and they're out on the trampoline. Thank goodness for the sunshine, that's all I've got to say. I'm out this morning. Oh, it's so pretty. Got all this chamomile. Wow. I'm out this morning. I have got my little arm weights on though. They're like, you can put them around your legs or your arms and they just add a bit of weight when you're walking. I don't honestly know how good they are, but these are like Amazon ones. You can get much better ones than this. I quite like them though. And I feel like I'm, when I'm moving my arms, I'm kind of doing something, I hope. Oh, this path is a bit moved to this path, I think. Anyway, I'm heading out for a walk. They're setting up their little stall to sell raspberries now, seeing as we've got so many. And lemonade, which they've made. Um, they're raising money for um, cancer research for melanoma. This is what they've told me. So they did, they've done really well, actually. I'm very impressed so far. Yes, so, so far, I think they've raised nearly £20, bless them. So they're going to give the money to my husband, who um, does melanoma, so that he can put it in their charity box that they've got. Um, but I thought that was really sweet. They, they planned all this and they did it all themselves. Then, you know, they've carried the little table up there and they've made the tablecloth and the sign. Um, so I thought it was quite nice. Where we are, we live near like a horse place where lots of people come to ride their horses and things like that. So there's always lots of people coming and going. It's quite a good place actually to sell lemonade and raspberries. This is one of my favourite parts of the River Thames. It is such a lovely place to sort of stop and sit. It's so peaceful. I can hear people up at Clifton at the boathouse just up there. And I think there must be a boat coming along. It's very early for the boats. I'm hoping the sunshine is gonna stay for the day, although I've just looked at the weather and maybe not. My sister's been working all week, so I've had her children and the grandparents look after them now, don't worry. So I've just kind of escaped and I had her Flora, her little one, overnight. Luckily, she slept really well. I feel really, really lucky that I actually managed to get a good night's sleep. Oh, here's the boat. About to run over a geese. Does it realise that? Oh. Some more boats coming and a lady is swimming. I'm not sure I would swim in this. However, it's quite clear. So I've just opened up the post and I've been sent this. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of this brand, uh, but my dad is intrigued. He's just stolen some from it because it apparently helps with aches and pains and makes you genuinely feel just better from what we've been reading. I have got a discount code, which I'll put in the description below if you want to try it. I obviously haven't tried it, so I can't comment yet, but my dad is going to try it and he thinks it's going to do wonders for him so we will come back to you and let you know so with the raspberries look what they've made a blondie very impressed with the girl's efforts Hey! Whee! 
amazing. Do you want to have a go, baby? the chaos yeah so you can you will have seen that we had the fire engine out they were amazing with the kids like really good basically my dad is on an oxygen machine and it keeps going off making the alarm go off anyway it went off and they couldn't get it off and blah, blah, blah. so they came out to help so but while they were there they let the kids get on to the um fire engine and then they showed them the water hose they showed them the whole way around it was like really nice of them to do that and they absolutely loved it especially the boys they thought it was the best thing ever i think this is the highlight so far of the holiday um of the summer holidays i mean they literally loved it the boys so that was great and i can't believe how welcoming and how nice they were they were like, we were sort of waving at the beginning and then they were like do you want to come and have a look and i was like oh uh yeah and all the kids were like off and i was like wow um so it was really nice of them to do that so you will have seen earlier as well that we went bowling which at the time when we booked it we thought that's a really good idea it's really miserable here the weather is not good it's like been raining and just pretty grim so we thought that will fill some time there were quite a few of us how many uh six seven eight i think there were nine of us in total there were ten rounds i was gonna book two rounds thank good I did. god i didn't sorry i it was just like was so long the kids, I think, got quite a bit bored at the end, towards the end of it. And I think it, I mean, it was a good experience. Tick that one, we've done it now. Um, Rafa's never done it. Tilly's only ever done it once. And I've, I don't think any of my sister's kids have ever done it. So yeah, it was a good, it was a good kind of all-round experience. We had a bit of like nachos and chicken dips things there for lunch. So that was great. So that basically filled a couple of hours. So um, I probably would do it again but it was very loud in there like really loud and quite like ah like sensory overload um so pr yeah i'm not going back there anytime soon but anyway that was one thing we've done for the holidays which is good we're just planning out for the rest of next week uh what we're going to do for the days and all the different activities because i'm just finding every second they're saying i'm bored i'm bored i'm bored so Sent them back out on the trampoline. I think it's actually raining now, but I'll hopefully fill some time. Anyway, the reason why I came on here was to tell you about what I'm up to tomorrow. So tomorrow I am heading out. I'm going to Warwick. I haven't been to Warwick since the last time I went to Warwick Castle, which was quite a while ago now. Um, that used to be one of my favorite kids activities or whatever to go to Warwick Castle. I just absolutely loved it there. I don't quite know why, but I feel like I need to take my kids there one day not this holidays and so i'm going with a brand let me show you so first of all i've actually got one of their tops on at the moment can you see the detail there uh, it's really really soft it's lovely so it's just a v-neck t-shirt um but i've actually now got this in navy and white so i bought this one before we went away on holiday um and i'm really pleased i did it's got a really nice v not too deep but deep enough to make it look like a v it's got lovely arms that just cover the tops here it's really really soft it's quite relaxed fitting it's not fitted too tight but it's not too oversized so it's just a really nice t-shirt so if you're looking for a really lovely white v-neck t-shirt then i totally recommend it so i'm just sorting out my outfit to wear for tomorrow I'm hoping the weather will be better than this, but it really doesn't look like it is going to be. So I'm actually quite pleased I'm wearing trousers. When these were sent to me, I was like thinking I'm going to be boiling. You know, it was back in like June. So I'm finally 
uh, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that it's actually not great weather. So I have got these uh, jeans, which are their jobper jeans. Um, what I really like about them is they've got this lovely high waist, which is great. So if you want that high waist look, um, but they just look really nice on as well. Uh, Holland and Cooper are really good with their details. So things like the little gold bit here, uh, the gold on here, it's all branded very nicely. Um, so they do do them in white, but this is actually an oatmeal colour, um, which again, I was a bit like, oh gosh, I'm not sure, but actually I really like them and I think they're a bit they're better than the white ones. Uh, the reason why they're called the job jeans is because they come down here at the bottom and they've got this shape to make them look like job pers, obviously. The other jeans that I've got, I think, are petite ones. In fact, I can show you. So these are exactly the same jeans that were sent to me, I think probably about May or before that April time. So they have got a different label, but they definitely are the job jeans. So I've just looked on here. Job per jeans, can you see that? And then these are regular. Now I'm petite, so I would have got them in petite and these are 14 short. I have tried them on, so they're fine. And I think they'll be great with boots. They go right to my ankle. These are slightly shorter. Um, so I'm five foot two. I definitely recommend trying their jeans on. So when I buy from them, what I tend to do is buy two sizes and then try them on at home, try them on with my own clothes and then send one back. So if you can do that, I really recommend it. Especially with jeans, I find jeans really difficult to get the fit right and the length right. So I think this will look really nice with this absolutely gorgeous belt. So this is, oh, it feels amazing. Feels really lovely. That is so lovely and soft. This is the classic belt. Um, so obviously it just goes around like that and you have the C and the H on the front. I think that will look really nice with these jeans. And then we have got this beautiful shirt. Now, I have been lusting after this shirt for quite a while now. Um, I'm a massive fan of denim shirts. And do you know what? I'm a massive fan of their shirts because I love the detail. I have a blue and white shirt of theirs, which I wear quite a lot. And it has these beautiful sleeves. And then they're rouged at the bottom here. And then on the other side, you've got all the button detail can see there really really lovely um it's a really nice length as well it just covers the sort of tops of the top of my bum it's also poppers which is great i really like poppers much better than buttons i think so i'm really looking forward to wearing that i'm going to go and give this an iron and get it ready for tomorrow for me to wear this with my jeans and my belt and i've just been getting these out of the box um so here are the boots how lovely are these? They're, I've just seen that they've come with a little brush as well. How nice is that? Um, so they're really soft. They're like a really soft um, fabric. With This is a stretch as well. So if you struggle with um, calf sizes, then I reckon these would be really good because they stretch. That's really stretchy, actually. So you've got quite a thicker um, leather on the front here and then this stretch at the back. The little zip on the side that doesn't go all the way up, which I quite like as well. You've got the beautiful gold detail on the bottom here. How nice is that? And then you've got the C and the H at the top. Really, really nice. Let me stand that up so you can actually see that. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. And then finally, one of my most exciting pieces to show you, I think, well, all of it is exciting, to be honest, is this absolutely stunning bag. Um, here's the chain to go with it. Let me put it all together and I can show you. So this is the Soho camera bag. It is brand new. It's on the website now. If you like it, I would get it now before they go because things do sell out. Um, and then it's got this absolutely beautiful chain with this detail on here as well. How lovely is that? And then the zip that goes all the way over the top. So inside you have got a little pocket for like cards. There's two in there actually. You can't really see this, can you? And then you've got the zip that runs all the way across. I'm gonna put a link for this below to my page on Klarna where you can buy, click through and buy all of this on there and it shows you exact links of everything that I have got here. 
go and have a look the in the bio of this um, not in the bio in the description of this there'll be a link there and if you've got any questions at all about sizing or anything like that do you send me a message on instagram and i can help you with that or put a message below and i can try and help there too anyway i am going to get everything ready for tomorrow for this gaming fair after such a miserable evening it's actually really nice i, I mean i mean a miserable day it's actually a really nice evening <laughs> Um, I, I was going to say blue skies have come out, but I think they're actually behind me. Um, but I'm going to head out for a quick walk. Going to go down by the river and try and get my steps in for the day. What is this? Oh. You ready to go to bed, Flora? Uh, good morning. I have got ready, finally. I'm here. I've got my white jeans on and my boots. And then I've got the blue denim shirt. I've got a fee with me. I'm just going to take some photos of me. We've, we're looking for like a sort of stable look for our backdrop, which I think we've kind of found here. Maybe, Fee, do you think? If I just show you there. I think these are pretty good stables. So we're going to try and do a bit of a photo shoot here before I leave and then I'm going to do the drive there. I think it's going to take about an hour and 20 minutes, so I better get going.
put the buckle on the coach. Never. What does this mean? A lot of ladies will buckle that into the center. And that actually gives you a big box. It defines where your waist is. If you actually take this, fasten it, and put that to the side, and the line of gold buckles, what happens is we follow this up. So you suddenly go to a fine midpoint. So you look taller. No, it's fine. And then also what we would suggest is, sorry to ruin your remember your beautiful hair, is always pop the collar. Because you pop the collar and your jacket doesn't sit on your shoulder flat. So then it's doing that. Yeah. So basically, number one. Okay. Number two. Number two. Number one. It is. Number two. Okay. So when you have it open, you still want to have a nice bit of shape into your waist. So you take it a little step forward. Yeah, yeah. So what you do is you take the belt, you flip it, and then you buckle this up. So that gives you your shape here. Okay. But when you look at the back of the coat, it's lovely and neat. So see what time is? Nice and neat. So it's not the tying over thing, which I, some ladies yeah. love. For me, when something's this beautifully tailored, Thank you want it to maintain. Yeah. I'd never think to do that, ever. <laughs> okay, yep. number three. Now, if you are wearing your coat and you, you've you opened it up, you're a little warm, but it's not so cool that you can take the coat off completely. Okay. This is the one that can for me when the buckle in the middle works. So you take this. We're off on an adventure today. I've got Edward with me and a load more children ahead of us. We're off to the Roald Dahl uh, Museum and we're going to watch a show in there. To be honest, I'm absolutely exhausted um, from yesterday. I didn't get back till quite late. Um, it was an amazing day, but it was literally on my feet. I think it did nearly over 15,000 steps. So it was quite a tiring day, but very fun and a real kind of experience, actually. I'll hopefully come back on and tell you more about it tomorrow or something. But for now, we're about to enter the museum, which I've never been to, and I don't know why. It's quite near to where my parents live, so I really don't know why I've never been. But anyway, first time. Should we go? Oh, look at these. I've got Edward with me.
Wow, Ed, that looks great. <laughs> what a pretty little village it is absolutely gorgeous we're just heading on the map now we're going down to go and find the graveyard where he is if he wants to go and see it so we think it's down here Um, some of the cottages here are absolutely stunning. Look at this, it's just gorgeous. I'd absolutely love to live in a house like that. Oh, it's like a little chocolate box. We found it. He was very tall, do you remember? He was two metres tall. Good evening, I've just escaped. Um, the bath chaos. My husband is um, bathing six children on his own, so I've just like run away. Anyway, we went to watch the play. Did you see? It was really good. I love those sorts of things. However, it was quite scary. I think it kind of went over the children's head, but I was like, oh my gosh, he ate the granny. And my husband was like, afterwards, of course he did. That's the story. He eats the granny. I was like, oh yeah. I just forgot the story and then the three little pigs he eats the bit oh it's really not very nice anyway the children didn't seem to care about that they thought the acting was fantastic the actors were amazing and the actresses really really good and yeah it, it was just a really nice experience to go to the museum was really nice it was quite small it probably took us about less than half an hour to get around i think if you were going to do it properly and read everything it would obviously take longer but we had little ones with us so that didn't really work for longer so anyway today oh i've got my new necklace on i must put the tag to this below i'm really pleased with it i'll talk about it next week but i it arrived and i thought Do you know what i'm gonna put it on I'll, I'll put a link to it below if you're interested but i will tell you all about that next week because i've got so much to tell you in this week's uh, vlog anyway so the royal Dawn museum was a hit definitely recommend it if you're looking for something a little bit different to do it was just really sweet little village i love going to villages like that because of the like the architecture and the houses and it's all really pretty afterwards we did a little walk around and they have maps so you can do a walk into the forest and like not the forest like the woods we didn't do that one because we had little people with us but we did go up and have a look at where he's been buried um and that was quite nice i just took the older girls with me and we walked up there found it and had a seat on his bench and the Phoebe's very interested at the moment about like life and death. In fact, they all were asking lots of questions. So that was an interesting afternoon. And then we've headed back and I, my sister has actually gone away for the night. I'm not quite sure how this has happened, but she's headed off to the Cotswolds to some gorgeous hotel, it looks like, with her husband. And we're babysitting six children. And I don't quite know how I said yes to this, but I did. So tonight um, we are cooking, well I'm not actually, Phoebe is going to cook dinner for my husband and myself and granny and granddad. She loves cooking and so she's asked if she can cook a meal. 
so we're all going to i don't actually know what it is at all but anyway she's going to do some cooking she's got a starter and a main course and a dessert so i'm very excited about that and we've also got some fizz in the fridge as well so i can't wait to crack open with that and have a lovely evening it's a really nice day today for once here uh let me show you the view hold on so just sitting down here you can see the horses they're actually take in the shade they're all hiding in the shade they're under the tree there uh but look at that sky oh it is delightful i'm hoping tomorrow is going to be nice i'm i think we've got them all afternoon and all morning the children i'm not quite sure so we will be doing some walks and things like that playing outside making some dens and camps um and hopefully if the weather's good i'm too scared to even look at the weather we do need to head up to clifton you can spot it right up there on the hill and we yeah we do need to go up there at some point we still haven't been that's our usual go-to because it's really not that far away you can see it just up there anyway i better go and help uh upstairs i can't hear any screaming so that's a good sign and about yesterday i hope you saw lots of lovely footage the i want to say the stand i don't know what you would call it the stand where hon and cooper are was amazing like the setup i think they had probably the best spot there it was all laid out really really well the staff were incredible really friendly really helpful um and it was really nice to meet some of the pr team often you kind of like email people and you don't actually know who they are or what their names are i mean obviously you know their name but you don't actually know who they are so it's really nice to actually meet them in person um so i got to meet all the pr team which was great and some others as well that work in the same office um so it was interesting to speak to them about their background and how they started um where they had and how they've got to where they are today i find it all really fascinating how people get their jobs and how it all comes about so it was great to talk to them and we also got to see some of the new um products in real life in in there for new, the next season which was great um so i have eyed up lots of different things including a navy blazer which looks beautiful on oh hi the boys are here are you ready are you bathed yeah, yeah? i think they want to go on the trampoline ah! okay yeah. you're going on the trampoline Dad, as well daddy said, we daddy, daddy said you could okay What a grey and dismal Sunday it is. Um, it's really not very nice here. The children have been trying to play outside and it's not happening. So all I'm getting at the moment is I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. We're now going to watch a film and do some Lego. I really don't know how I'm going to entertain them all day. We're having a roast later on. Um, and that's about it. We're not even going to get out for a walk today, are we? Um, so I've just ordered this. It came actually yesterday um, when I was out. Um, I basically got sucked into a YouTube, no, it wasn't YouTube, sorry, TikTok videos um, where people were like brushing their teeth with this and then their teeth were going white. So apparently what you do is you leave it on for 30 seconds and brush it and then you spit it out, you don't swallow it and your teeth become white. I'm not sure if I believe it, but I'm gonna go and give it a go. Uh, I'm not really sure if you should waste your money. Maybe, I think they got a little bit whiter. I really need to, I really want to get Invisalign on my teeth. Sort them out. Look at this one, it's all chipped. Anyway, yeah. Not sure if that totally worked. Maybe I'll give it another go. I don't know, I just, um, I was expecting bright white <laughs> I'm so sucked in by these ads, it's really bad. Um, they, I mean, they do feel clean and they do look a little bit whiter, but I really wanted them to be white like this, um, which 
which they're not. I mean, they're better. Maybe you have to use it a bit more. Maybe I should read the label more. Anyway, don't waste your money on that. I've saved you some money there. Good evening, it's a really miserable day. We have finished our race and I'm just gonna sign off for now. Thank you very much for watching this week. Um, we've got another busy week next week with me looking after all my sister's children. So that's six children in total for the holidays. Uh, and we've got things like a tennis camp. I've got a 40th birthday. I'm trying to think what else I've got coming up. It is quite a busy one. I've got my big sister coming with her children. Oh, there's going to be loads of us. Anyway, tune in if you want to see what I get up to. And um, I will catch up with you then. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.